so today we're going to take a look at Teacher Children, a song that falls in the category of things I call campfire songs. Now what I mean by a campfire song is you can play it lots of different ways. It can be really simple, it can be medium complex, or it can get really fancy if you have some mandolins and violins and bass players and all that kind of stuff playing along with you. So uh, a lot of songs we like to look at like this where it's not too important that you play it exactly one way. So all you have to do to, have to learn Teacher Children is be able to play some simple chords, D, G, A, and B minor, we'll talk about that a little bit more, and um, then keep a kind of a country strum going. So we're going to talk a little bit more about the, the country strum in some of this stuff. So today we're going to look at keeping a country strum going, we'll learn a little bit about Teacher Children, written by, of course, Graham Nash, played on the Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young album, Deja Vu, in 1970, and um, talk a little bit about the backbeat that happens. Actually, I'll talk about that right now, because... There we go. The five chords we need for teach your children. The so the strumming technique that we're going to be using in teach your children is can again be done with a pick or with your fingers. Now if we're using the finger style or the finger strumming technique we're using your thumb to hit the bass notes and your fingers to strum down, down with the middle fingers and up with the index finger. So I said this is a song that beginners can play. Um, again, that's with the, uh, uh, as long as you can play bar chords. Um, we do need to play a B minor in here, but we can play the B minor as a modified B minor if we have to. Again, so we can dress up teacher children a little bit. There's actually a bunch of different things we can do. Here's a simple one. Um, the strum doesn't have to be as exact as what we were just doing there. It doesn't have to always be this. I could vary it a little bit by having more strokes in there. I could make the first half bass down up and the second half bass up down up. That would sound like this. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson on Teach Your Children. A couple quick things to remember. Um, when you're changing chords, and strumming. The strumming can't ever stop. You keep this hand going, you never let it wait for your left hand like this. So you have to do two things to make that work well.